Welcome back everybody, Robert with Occupancy Boost. This video is on how to improve your review scores on Expedia. I'm gonna show you guys some really neat tools available in your Expedia Extranet that will allow you to take care of your guests and get better review scores. I think Expedia does a better job than Booking.com of providing uh, tools to their hotel owners and operators to improve the review scores. I'm also going to touch on photos and show you guys why accurate amenities are so important. Stay tuned. I'm going to switch screens. I'm going to show you guys how to get this done. take you guys through what you can do prior to a guest arriving during the time the guest is there and after they check out. Now you're going to get messages um, from guests before they arrive at your hotel and my suggestion for all these channels is to have your morning shift and your afternoon shift and your evening shift all go in here and check these at least one time during your shift. Everybody's got a couple minutes to go in and check for these messages. Um, you know, some of my hotels, when I take them over, they've got hundreds of messages that have never been answered from the guests. And that's a, it, it reflects on your review score because not communicating with the guests prior to their arrival is something that can really upset the guests. And I'm just, you know, the area you want to go to in Expedia here is right on the left-hand column. It's under Guest Relations. And I'm in this Messages uh, tab here. So I just, I just clicked on that Messages button there. And it... I filtered out all the unread messages, um, all the unanswered messages. This hotel actually has 45 unanswered messages. A lot of these guests have already checked out, so they've missed out on an opportunity to communicate with a guest's need before they arrive. Now, obviously, the guests can ask for this when they get there, but it's going to give them a better impression of your hotel before they arrive if you're answering their questions for them. So in Expedia here, um, I'm just going to take you through a couple of the messages that guests actually ask. Um, this guy. This person here asked for, um, they just need a, they want to not make sure they get a non-smoking room, queen size bed, late checkout. Now this, this kind of shows you that, you know, guests get online, people are busy, they book their rooms and they just want to make sure everything's right when they get there. So they're going to, a lot of times they're going to message you this, these easy questions that you can just simply answer for them and give them peace of mind. What you're doing is you're giving people peace of mind before they check in. Now, this guest here, let's see what they ask. This is just another one. I'm not going to run through too many of these. They want to get their $30 deposit returned to their card. Now, the hotel never got back to this guest. Um, obviously, that guest, you know, had a, had a pretty big need there with money. So answering that guest question after they checked out is going to give them a better impression. And obviously, these people all have the opportunity to review your hotel. So answering these questions is very important. Now, what you can do here, and I've got a separate video on this. I'm going to put the link in the description, is you can add a template. Uh, right here it says add a template. And hotels, um, you can set these up for your hotel, uh, these templates, to answer the guest needs. And they're located right here. Let me show you. Uh, right here at the top where it says manage templates, if you click on that, it takes you to this section here, and you can actually request, you can uh, create templates. And what you want to create templates for are commonly asked questions. And I actually have these set up for my properties. Um, a lot of the properties get asked commonly about parking. They get asked questions about the check-in times, check-out times, if they can check in early, what the late, the early check-in fees are, et cetera, et cetera. So you can actually design templates in there. And then when you go to answer a question for your for your uh, guest or if your front desk staff or whoever's managing your, your inbox here, when they go to answer the question for the guest, they can simply just click on that template just by going here at the bottom of the question and just add, add in the template that they want to respond with. Or you can type it out here in the message. It doesn't matter. So I think that's a really neat feature. It just It's a big time saver for the hotels. Now, once a guest arrives there, Expedia is going to, this in-house feedback section here, it's right here, it's called in-house feedback. Let me go to that. Now, in-house feedback is communicating with the guests while they've already, they're in there. Now, a lot of these guests are going to get a text message from Expedia after they check into your hotel. They're going to, Expedia is going to get notified if they check in and they're going to ask them how everything is. 
the guest responds to that text and it shows up here in this in-house feedback. Now, as you can see here, uh, this guest right here wasn't happy. They said the, the check-in was slow. So that's a great opportunity for the hotel to respond back to that guest either by calling their room or responding back in this section here in this in-house feedback section to make their stay enjoyable and fix whatever need they have before they check out so you get a better review after they depart, okay? So you're taking care of the guests. You're finding out what their needs were. I know years ago what the hotels used to do is they used to call the rooms and ask the guests how their stays were. A lot of people didn't pick up the phone and people caught on to that and figured it was a hotel basically calling them as soon as they checked in their phone rang in their room. Um, it's not really obviously done anymore, but this is a great way. And Expedia actually, you know, does this for you and gives you the opportunity to communicate with a guest. So this is a huge thing you can do while the guest is in the hotel and make their stay or fix whatever, you know, problem they're having and make their stay more enjoyable. So when they check out, like I said, you get a better review. Uh, this person here was happy with check-in. So obviously you can respond to these guests. Now you can't respond to these because the, the hotel that I'm showing you can't respond to these because the guests already checked out. So they miss the opportunity. But while they're in house, you can respond to them. And like I said, you can call the room, but you can also respond through this, this form here, or I'm, I'm sorry, through this section here. So a great way, so I've, I've gone over before they check in, while they're at the hotel. Now, after they've checked out of your hotel, this post stay review section here, okay? <clears throat> These are all the reviews that are coming in to your hotel after somebody checks out. You've got the opportunity to go in here and respond to the guests. Um, obviously, you can pick up the phone and call them. You can request that they call you. If they leave you a 10 out of 10, which is a great review, you can thank them for it. These also show up on your website. So on your Expedia website, whatever you, whatever fashion or whatever you say you respond to the guest, that's what's going to show up on your Expedia uh, website when you, when you go into the reviews in Expedia. Another nice thing that Expedia does here is this review insights. I'm not going to go into this right now, but it uh, gives you some insight on what your competitors kind of reviews your competitors are getting and the most common things that people are asking for in their reviews. Uh, most common things people are commenting on, what they like about your hotel, what they dislike about your hotel. You can go on there, read that, and as an operator, you can find out what is making guests happy. And you can also find out what is upsetting the guests at your property and use both of those things to improve the stay for the guests, okay? So those three things, before, during, and after the stay. Now, one other thing I'd like to mention here too is under the property details tab, there's a section here, three sections I wanna point out, photos, property amenities, and room amenities. Make sure, I'm not gonna go into these right now, but make sure that these are all updated for your property. They actually give you a property photo score, and I've got a video that I've done on, on, on photos. There's a property photo score that, that Expedia rates their hotels on how good their photos look. So very, very important that, you know, your photos look, look good and, you know, your score is 100% in your extranet because if your score is 100% in your extranet, obviously your website's going to look good and it's going to help out, you know, the guests. It's gonna, the guests are going to have a better experience because they know what to expect when they get there. Make sure your photos are current. There's nothing worse than a guest checking into a hotel and the room doesn't look like the photo. Really upsets a lot of people. So this is a big effect on your reviews. Um, your amenities, uh, both in your rooms and your hotel, make sure that those things are accurate. If you don't have coffee makers in the room, make sure it's not marked in here. If you have microwaves in your room, make sure it's marked on your property amenities. People do go through and check your hotel before they book and they look for particular things. If you have, if you don't have microwaves in your rooms and it's marked on your, on your amenities section here and somebody checks in and it's not there, they're going to get very upset. Opportunity for you to get a really, really bad review. And as you can see, a lot of the questions that people ask before they check in about the hotel, um, people ask questions, you know, I'd like a microwave in my room. I'd like a refrigerator in my room. Those things should already be in your extranet. Now, people are still going to ask that stuff before they arrive. It's just human nature. But if you've got that stuff marked before people are, I mean, in your, in your extranet correctly and it shows up on your website, 
if people don't have to ask those questions, it's a great thing. So those those are a couple of things I wanted to point out with Expedia. That's all I have for today, you guys. I appreciate this. If you like this video, please feel free to click the like button and subscribe to my channel. I got more videos coming out, and I've got a lot of videos that I've already done, a lot of stuff to talk about. As always, appreciate you guys. Thank you.